So this is uh, this is chapter six. We're in chapter six. Um, we're going to do a couple of sections. And with the law of sines and law of cosines, what we're interested in is um, we're solving solving oblique triangles. <coughs> So we're solving solving oblique triangles. Um, oblique triangle means um, that it has no right angles. In general, we're solving solving oblique triangles with no right angles, and it uh, essentially means that all the angles are different. Um, so we could we could use law of sines with uh, with right angles, but um, but we're talking about all angles are different. Um, and when we say solve, when we're solving a triangle, uh, solve means we want to find all the missing parts, all missing angles and all missing sides. So we're, we're interested in, if we're given some information, we want to find all the missing sides and angles. Um, for law of sines and law of cosines, we need one side. And we need two other, um, two other parts. So we need uh, we need one side and a couple of angles. We need a, one side and a couple more sides. Um, we need some combination of sides and angles to use the law of sines. Um, and the law of sines is when we have we use the law of sines when we have um, when we have triangles with um, two angles in any side. And we call this, um, <clears throat> and we also can use uh, two angles on any side or two sides and an angle opposite. So when we have two angles on any side, we're talking about when we have a combination of angle, angle, side, if you think back to geometry, angle, angle, side, or um, angle, side, angle. Or if we have uh, two sides and an angle opposite, this is, um, this is SSA combination. So we have these combinations of angles and sides. We can use law of sines. Today we're just going to talk about the first one, um, angle, angle, side, or angle, side, angle. Everybody good? All right. So uh, when we label our triangles, just a, a reminder. To label label our triangles. So if we have a triangle um, like so, we uh, we name the angles with capital letters. So this is A, B, and C, and we name the opposite sides with small letters. So this is A, this is B. And this is a small c. So the capital letters are angles, and the small letters are side lengths. Okay. 
So this is this is how when when we're using law of sines, law of cosines, this is how we're going to label our triangles, just so we can we can keep it straight. Remember that the angle and the sides are opposite each other; that we give the same letter. <coughs> so the law of sines, the law of sines tells us. And we can write it in two different ways that, are, that both mean the same thing. Um, law of sines tells us that A over sine A equals B over sine B. And this should be a capital B. No, oh, sorry, this should be a capital B. And that also equals C over sine C. And we can also write this with the reciprocals. It's the same as saying that the sine of A over A equals the sine of B over B. And that equals the sine of C over C. So when we use the law of, law of signs, what, we, what we're doing is we're picking, usually we're picking a, a pair of these, depending on the information that we have, to solve for the missing part. And then once we have another pair, we can, we can pick the third pair. So we, we need to match these up in pairs to solve for the missing sides. Um, my suggestion, my suggestion when you're solving triangles using law of signs is that you draw a little sketch from the information that it gives you. The problem will say something like you have triangle ABC with A equals this and B equals something else and it wants you to find, find some missing sides. Draw, draw a little picture. It, it really helps you, helps you working out these problems. So let's look at a couple of examples and, and this is all we're talking about today. We'll talk about law of signs a little more tomorrow. Um, So let's say that we have um, we have triangle ABC and angle A is 123 degrees. Uh, angle B is 41 degrees and Let's see, and side, uh, side A is 10 inches. And we want to find, um, we want to find C. This is, I'm going to say just side C. Since my capital C and small c look kind of the same. We want to find the length of side C. So let's draw a draw a quick picture. Doesn't have to be extremely accurate, just a sketch. So I'm going to draw my triangle to look like look like this. And I'm going to say this is A, and that's 123 degrees. We'll call this B and this is 41 degrees. This is angle C, this is side A, side B, and side C. And we know that A equals 10. So there's our triangle. That's, that's, that's all, the, all you have to do to draw your, draw your triangle. We want to find side C. Um, from this information, from what we have here, can we find C right away? We could have we could find B right away. And what did you say, Megan? Megan says we can find angle C. We have two of the angles. We can find angle C. So angle C equals 180 minus. 123 plus 41. 
So our angles have to add up to 180. We can find angle C. So when we calculate that out, we get that um, angle C is 16 degrees. So now we can use law of sines. We can say that C over sine of 16 degrees equals 10 over the sine of 123. Multiply both sides by the sine of 16 degrees. So I get, um, whoops, I get 10, C equals 10 sine 16 degrees over sine of 123. And we can plug this into our calculator and remember to keep your calculator in degree mode here. If we calculate this out, we get that C is about 3.29. Uh, so a couple of things about this problem. When, whenever you're given a problem and it gives you two of the angles in the triangle, you can always immediately figure out the third, the third angle of the triangle because they all have to add up to 180 degrees. And often in the, with the law of sines, a lot of cosines, you have to find some missing information before um, before you can start calculating. So this one we could find our angle C um, from the information that we were given and then we can use the law of sines. Questions on that? Um, with triangles, uh, they, um, I would say the vast, vast majority of time you're talking about angles and degrees. So for these, for these problems, you're going to be in, in degree mode in your calculator. If you get, get some answer that seems really crazy, you might check your, check your mode on your calculator. All right, let's look at one other, one more example, and then, um, and then we'll be done for today. Oops. Um, <clears throat> so let's say we have a plot of land. And it's a triangle. And in our triangle, we have uh, interior angles. So we're talking about the angles inside the triangle. A is 95 degrees. And um, C is 68 degrees. We want to find, uh, let's see, in the side between them, the length of the side between them is uh, 115 yards. We want to find the other two, the lengths of the other two sides. So let's draw a, let's draw a quick sketch. We have a triangle, angle A is 95 degrees, so I'm going to draw my triangle to look something like, something like this. Your sketch doesn't have to be perfect or beautiful. I'm going to call that A, B, and C. This is 95 degrees. And it says angle C is 68. So that's 68 degrees. <clears throat> and the length of the side between the two angles is 115. The side between them is here. This is one, 115 yards. And we want the length of the other side. So we're looking for side A and we're looking for side C. So what can we do here? What do we need to do? What's that? Find angle B. We can find angle B. 
and we subtract, we add 90, 95 and 68 and subtract it from 180 and what do we get? 17 degrees. So we know that B equals 17 degrees. Now we can start using uh, law of sines. Uh, we, can, we can do them in, in any, any order that we want. And since this side is opposite uh, angle B, this is side B. So let's do um, let's do A and let's do A and B first. Um, so law of sines tells us that side A over the sine of 95 degrees equals 115 over the sine of 17 degrees. And this tells us that A equals 115 sine 95 divided by sine of 17. And we can plug that into our calculator and we get A equals uh, 391.84. And now we can use side A and side C. We can say that um, A over sine 95 degrees equals C over, I'm sorry, we need, uh, we found A. 391, 391.84 equals C divided by the sine of 68 degrees. And we calculate that out and we get that C is about 364.69 yards. Any questions on this, this part of law of science? Now tomorrow we'll talk about, uh, there, there's, well, with the law of science we have the ambiguous case where we might not be able to make a triangle with the side lengths that they give us or we might be able to make two different triangles with, this, with all the information that they give us. Um, so we'll talk about when that happens, when that happens tomorrow. Today we're just talking about the this main application of the law of science. All right, homework. There you go. Not too much. Um